Hey Rob here doing a response and a review. So I've seen they showed the behind the scenes footage of how they pulled off the Miami zombie attack prank. And I was curious because they're scaring all these kids. I'm thinking the kids may go to the police. They go to the parents. The parents go to the police. The zombie, there's another zombie out in the turf, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they started telling the kids it's only a joke. It's a prank. It's a prank. Now, on more of a serious, somber note, I'm taking a poll via YouTube. What do you believe is had instigated what caused the zombie man to do what he did, eat the man's face. The man was alive 18 minutes and obviously got shot. Do you believe there was some type of spiritual influ influence or a spiritual realm of demon influence that was not only in on the man, but in the man, some type of form of demon possession? Give me your comments. Hit the like button. I want your comments right now. Now, his girlfriend just came out in the scene prior to her saying this and said he was under a curse, it was voodoo, the toxology report said there was only marijuana in his system, so they were saying it's LSD, bad salts. I'm telling you, friends, what's causing these type of scenarios is demon, demon forces, demon influence, whether it's voodoo, whether it's witchcraft, whether it's white witchcraft, wicca, tarot cards, Ouija boards, hexes, spells, incantations, you know, tarot cards, whatever, man. I'm telling you, this stuff is real. Now, before I get into this, I'm a minister of the gospel. If you desire, you can subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Also, under the search, Rob Wood 1. That's Rob with two Bs. I've got many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube where I talk about Christianity, the Bible, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Now, I'm going to release a prayer for anybody that's under any type of demonic oppression, depression or possession in about 45 seconds to a minute but before i do the only way to stay clear and free from that type of influence you got to have god in the center of your heart you have to have jesus in the center of your life because you know the house you live in physically is not necessarily as important as the house you live in spiritually so unless god's in your house friends you know the enemy has the ability to come in and wreak havoc so I told you I'd pray a prayer of faith over you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood over myself. Anyone under the sound of my voice, anybody that's into any type of witchcraft, they're involved in any type of bondage, seances, tarot cards, uh, incantations, psychic, psychic readings, Ouija boards, etc. Father, release them and reveal your mighty love, compassion, grace, kindness in the name of Jesus. Friends, Christ can set you free. Jesus has a mighty plan for your life. The book of John, third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that. He gave his only son, that if you would believe in Jesus, friends, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting life. And the Lord desires no one to perish, but everyone to have everlasting life with him in heaven for eternity. And when you take your last breath, the elevator goes up to life insurance or down to the basement where there's fire insurance. So say this simple prayer with me. Say, Jesus... Thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Again, taking a poll, if you believe there was some type of spiritual influence or the spiritual realms real or demon or angels, hit the like button. Give me your comments. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel. Hit the subscribe button. Also under the search, Rob Wood 1. I got many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos. Be blessed. The Lord loves your friends.